So in this video, I'm showing you how I drew these delicious strawberries and soft pastels. Uh, for supplies, I used UART 600 grit sanded paper. I used an underpainting of Liquitex acrylic ink, which you can see here is already on there. I forgot to record that one. Uh, for soft pastels, I'm using mostly Unison, but also some Terry Ludwigs, some Mount Visions, and for the details, I use some pastel pencils. So that's basically for the seeds on the strawberries is where I used those. And that was mostly Karen Dosh, I believe, for the pastel pencils. So I'm starting off here. I'm laying in my darks, my darkest darks, first of all. Um, with soft pastels, it's easier most of the time to go darker to lighter. So I'm laying in my darkest values of reds first and also some dark purples in. And then I'm coming on top with my lighter and brighter reds in order to make them the correct value. The reference photo that I'm using comes from Paint My Photo, so that is available for you to paint if you want. I believe the photographer was Angela Gunter, if I remember right. I will put her name in the description below. You can see for some of the highlights here, I'm coming on top with a, a purple or like a violet color that helps to make the strawberries look a little more shiny. What I realized at this point is that I probably should have put in the seeds before I started putting in the highlights. So you can see I completely redid that strawberry on the right hand side there. Just wiped it out with my finger and started putting in the seeds afterwards. That's the great thing about soft pastels is you can easily rework an area completely and still have it look okay in the end. You don't lose the tooth of the paper generally if you're using a paper that's uh, meant for pastels like you are is. And this strawberry I had a little trouble with at first making it look in the right shape. Um, pay a lot, a, t a lot of attention to your values in your reference photo where it's darkest, where it's lightest, where it fades from dark to light. Um, spend more time looking at your reference photo than you do at your actual artwork and you'll see you improve a little bit. Now for these seeds that I'm putting in here, you can see that they go kind of in the direction of the strawberry, if that makes sense. So they, if you're looking at it straight on, they look flat. But if you're looking at them where the strawberry kind of angles a bit, it, it looks like it turns with the strawberry. I don't know if that makes any sense, um, but pay close attention to your reference photo if you're drawing something similar to this and you'll see what I mean, I hope. So I'm continuing on and changing my values of my strawberries, adding in some seeds here going along the contours of the strawberries and adding in my highlight color that's that blue violet color and starting to put in the leafy parts of the strawberries here um, you can see my scrap paper kind of off to the left hand side there where I was trying to find the correct greens I think I used maybe three or four greens maybe a couple more um, for those leaves before I could find the one that I wanted. I tried a few different methods of blending them out either with my finger or with the paper stump. Um, mostly use the pastels in the end, the pastels themselves to blend them out. I start off with my darker values first, so the darkest green that I have, and then I come on top with my lighter greens. And I'm not using like a super bright punchy green. These are kind of a little more subdued, a little more muted. And I just keep working them and reworking them until they look the way that I want them to. And you know what? It doesn't matter if it looks exactly like the reference photo or not. These are strawberries. They're from nature. Like some of them are going to look different than others. They don't have to be exact. No one's ever going to know the difference if you put one little leaf out of place or not. So don't focus too much on that. Don't worry about it. And 
I'm working on another strawberry here, making sure that I get my values correct, adding in some more seeds, and you can see me kind of sketching out the the leaves a bit with one of the pencils there, just to give myself an idea of where to go with the, the bigger soft pastels after that. I mean, really with soft pastels it's easy just keep working it reworking it until it looks the way you want it to with a paper like you are even though this is the 600 grade which is a little finer grit than you would normally see used with pastels once you put something down it's not permanent you can add something over it you can wipe it out completely you can do whatever you want with it in order to make it look the way you want it to it's really a very forgiving paper If you're using something that has a little less tooth, um, like a, a Bristol She or a Kansami Tan, something like that, you may still be able to use that with pastels, but you won't be able to layer as much as you can with a paper that's um, more toothy, like you are or pastel matte. So in the background here, I started out with like a lighter gray color, uh, but you'll see in my final photo that I ended up changing that into black. I wasn't a big fan of the way that the the light gray looked, so don't be afraid to change things the way that, you know, to make them the way that you want. Um, so there is my finished piece. If you have any questions, please make sure that you put them below. I'll be sure to answer them, and if you complete something similar to this, please, please give me a tag, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. I would love to see your work. I will see you next time.